chapter on travel safety? Of course I have. You, you have? You've got your right luggage tag on here? No. I got it there. We're close enough. <laughs> no, we're not close enough. This is your first international trip. We have to do this right. How about this? Health and fitness. Have you read this chapter? Bits. Bits? Bits. There's going to be a quiz tonight before you get on the plane. Oh, the daughter of the expert traveler is heading on her first international trip tomorrow. Am I worried? Not a bit. She's got it covered. You can tell she's read the whole book. Right, Jen? Of course I have. Let's go through and let's see how well you did. Can we open your book bag, please, and let's my see. My suitcase, your thing. All right, good thing you're using space bags. These are my favorite. You can cram so much into them, but let me give you a little bit of lesson. Look at all this air. Get that air out, and you'll have room for another space bag. I just open it up, stick my finger in, push it down. That's Look at how those work, huh? You can follow the directions and squeeze it out, but this is what's worked for me, and look how much smaller it is. Yeah, more room for shoes. Hmm. Speaking of shoes, do you think you're going to get all of these in the bag? You are going to be walking the streets <laughs> of Hong Kong and China, girl. I know. Where are your flip-flops? Oh, wait, I have those. Okay. They're somewhere. I right, found I them. I hope they're in a bag. They're, they're there. Okay, well, can we get those in, like, in a plastic <laughs> bag or something so they're not, like, getting dirt all over your clothes? We'll figure that, that out. That's a good point. Okay. And these, wear these on your feet. They're your biggest shoes. They'll be great for the airport. And in the international airport, you don't even have to take off the shoes. That's perfect. so much easier. Yep. These are perfect. These will be light. They can dress up. They're casual. These flip-flops... And maybe a small pair of heels, and you'll be good. Leave those clunky things behind. Okay? That's sad. It's not sad. <laughs> you'll be thanking me. You'll be nice and comfortable. Okay? Speaking of, just in case it rains, do you have an umbrella? No. No? The thought know. crossed my mind, though. Oh, that was in another chapter. We won't cover that right now. <laughs> and health and fitness, chapter seven or nine. What was it? Chapter... Nine. All right, she read it. <laughs> take an emergency on your plane tomorrow before you take off. Take another one every day. This is why I don't get sick. Vitamin, okay. lots of vitamin C. Okay. All righty. <clears throat> You're going to a foreign country. You need the right outlets. And what is that for? This has Hong Kong. This has all your countries in there. So you just hold the button, and it works wherever you go. You just can't put a hair dryer and leave the straightener at home, please. It won't work on this. This is just an adapter, not a power converter. Okay? Okay. Okay. Flip-flops you'll get in a bag. And we talked about the vitamin C. You're going to China where the bathrooms may not be like Western toilets. So just in case, here's some like individual little private things. Tuck those okay. in the bag. I'll okay. Shower gel. Everything's in three ounce sizes, right? Yes. Packing. In a Chapter plastic two. bag. In a plastic bag. <laughs> in a plastic bag. Everything's there, okay? Here's a little hand sanitizer because there's lots of germs on the plane and wherever you go. So just use that also. Okay? Gosh, what else? Be right back because I see something that's a mortal sin. Here's what I think of your luggage tag. It's going in the trash. Number one, there's no name on it. <laughs> Were you going to do this at some point? Yeah, at the airport. <laughs> when they asked me. But you put your name and address on here. And everybody can see it in this very unsafe. Thank you, you have read the book, <laughs> the chapter on safety. Okay. Instead, we're going to use the Smart Women Travelers tag with the strong grip that won't come off. And we'll put, after, after we attach it to the bag, we'll put the grip right there so that you cannot open it to see the address when this is attached to the bag. So we'll do that in just a minute. Okay. So your shoes will go in. Plenty of room for your jeans now. You'll leave all those shoes behind. You can close up the bag. I saw you had a duffel bag in here for you. Your, all your purchases at the ladies' market in Hong Kong. You know, you always want me to bring you something home. I hope I get something nice. Here's a Smart Women Traveler's bag in case you want it. It folds up to something really small. Speaking of Smart Women Travelers, I see... I'm all set so I can see my bag in the carriage. I know, because black is the common bag. Mm -hmm. And when you see the Smart Women Travelers neon green coming on the luggage 
carousel, you will know it's your bag. And I have my name in there, too. Wow. Wow. You are learning. I am so. Speaking of learning, do we have any jewelry in that bag? Not yet. <laughs> and there will not be. There will not be any jewelry in this checked bag. Where are you going to put any jewelry? In my carry-on bag. Yes. So let's tell Grandma. Grandma, <laughs> never leave your jewelry in a checked <laughs> bag. And why are oh, we telling Grandma? Grandma? Because Grandma got her jewelry stolen. Yes. <laughs> we don't want that to happen to you. No, or any expensive bags either. No, no, no. Expensive purses. Okay, what else that's important? What do I need to bring on the plane with me? And just what goes in my bag for my travel? You know, knock on wood, I've never had my bag lost. Delayed, yes. Lost, no. But just in case, keep a copy of your itinerary, what your flights are, add your first hotel, just tuck it in the outside bag. Because most bags that don't get returned to the owner, it's because there's no identification in them. So put your ID inside the bag as well as your itinerary. And like you said, you've already written it on the back side of the Smart Women mm -hmm. Traveler's handle also. That's always good to do. The other thing is you're traveling internationally. You always want to keep a copy of your passport. I know you've got it here somewhere. We're not going to show yeah. everybody what your passport is. But keep a copy of your passport on you, but not with your passport. Keep it in a carry-on bag. Keep a copy, a okay. photo of it on your phone, but always have a copy of your passport too. God, I'm so nervous about you traveling tomorrow. I would be just fine. <laughs> You're gonna check in with me when you get to San Francisco and and Tokyo and and when I finally <laughs> make it to Hong Kong. Okay. Okay. The other thing is, when you get everything in, you want to lock up your suitcase. And there's TSA approved locks, because if it's not TSA approved, they'll open the bag if they want to and they'll break your bag to get at it. But I use these inexpensive locks, so when you put the zipper together, we can just do it here as an example on this outside one. A cheapy oh. little twist tie works wonders. Just put it right between there, twist it up. It keeps the zippers together, they won't open, and if TSA wants to go see what's in your bag and how well you packed, they can get that off real easy. Okay. Stick a couple extra ones in your bag, and these are my best little trick ever. That's all I use now. I've had all my TSA locks stolen. So, these work wonders. Okay, so you've got your bag, your carry-on, you've got your Kindle. Kindle, all charged. Maybe I'll have to double check that too. Double check, double check everything that it's charged because it's a long flight. You're going to want to do a lot of reading. And always, always have like a pashmina shawl that we can wrap around your neck. Oh, thanks. I got cold. a gift. You know, on the plane because it gets drafty. There you go. Okay. You want to be comfortable, but you want to have layers. Okay. You'll be I good. I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. I will survive. It's only a long plane ride. Have a great time. This is your first <laughs> massive solo international trip. I'll be glad when you get home, but have a great time. I will. Love you. Love you too.